Hey guys, uh, St. Mac here. Um, I want to just jump on and show a little tool I was working on, uh, a little web tool for Battletech uh, that I've picked up and been playing recently. Uh, so when I first started playing, I found it kind of overwhelming how many different units there are. They're like, if we go on the master unit list here, there's a, uh, let me see, no filters on. Oh, this is like forever to return. Um, 4,000 different uh, variants of battle mechs. So it's pretty daunting at the start. And uh, so even when you go on here and you're like, oh, I've got the beginner box, uh, what can I play? So you go in and you type, I got a griffin. Let's see what the griffins are. So you, there's 35 griffins. Um, and there's not that much info aside from roll, battle value, like, what do these guys actually do? Like, what, what do they have um, at a glance? Uh, so that's something I was kind of like looking to solve, I guess. Uh, so I guess enter the, what I'm calling right now, the macro unit list. Uh, so we go in here and we, we type in Griffin. And we see, here we go. Here's uh, kind of the same list of Griffins, but we have uh, the weapon list right here. We've got what they have for ammo. Uh, in tons, we've got a, any special equipment they have, any like notable components, for example, like a, an XL engine or um, light engines. I guess it would, it would show cockpits and uh, here we go, like a heavy duty gyro um, as well. And then if we scroll across, um, we can see, yeah, like what factions are available to it. Uh, how much heat it expends if it if it fires all its weapons at once and jumps it if it if it jumps, uh, it's got damage range bands kind of expected damage if if you're rolling a seven uh, before like weapon specific or range modifiers, uh, then what would your expected damage be that turn? Um, and then so we have damage short which is between one and three, medium which is four and twelve. Uh, long, which is between 13 and 21, and extreme, which is between 22 and 30. So, kind of these, these first three ones follow like the alpha strike ranges a bit. Um, and then we also have like uh, damage per BV, which can kind of be useful. We've got uh, total expected damage, or I guess average expected damage over like these same four, uh, but between 1 and 30 kind of thing. Um, We've got HP per BV. HP is just in, internal armor plus, or I guess internal structure plus armor. But then per per 1,000 BV as well. And then you got your, your walk around jump values, your BV of course, and kind of what we talked about earlier. And also a handy little link to the to the master unit list to to check out the max as well. Um, so yeah, that's that's a brief rundown. Uh, so you can do a ton of other stuff with it as well. Like, uh, say, I know I, I'm fighting in the year 3061. I know I'm doing like a scenario there. We're, we're having a battle there, so we, we can um, filter just on that. Uh, we can filter on if I if I want inner sphere. We can bring back max if we want. Um, Factions not as great as I want it to be because I don't have. Uh, I almost need like two options, like uh, or two boxes here. Like uh, you put like the house you're in, and then like eyes general or something as well, and then get both back. Um, but you can, you can filter by faction. Just know that some of those general categories might be missing. Those general mechs. Um, but you can you can filter on specific weapons or specific equipment as well. Uh, and yeah, let's so let's uh I don't know let's try making a list here. So right now it's ordering by damage per one k BV. Um, so not surprisingly, you've got stuff like the some clan riflemen, so like some mis, mixed tech um, mechs here. You've got the annihilator, pretty high. Uh, not surprising because it has uh, no movement. Um, and 
yeah, Swannery, Stare, I don't know. Like So this, this Rifleman, for example, it seems like it's the highest damage per BB uh, outside of this, this Jameson, which is uh, unique. Um, Wolf's, Wolf's, uh, Wolf's Dragoons only stalker, so we're not, we're gonna, not really consider that. So maybe, maybe we'll, we'll for, for this first thing in our, in our squad, we're gonna grab this, this rifle, and, um, and we're gonna throw them in. And then we're like, okay, cool, we have something really high damage. Um, well, what's it, what's his HP per BB? I don't say that bad, like six, 164, that's pretty good. Um, you can see some down here, like the, the Annihilator, which is, is very tanky, is only 220. Um, but let's say next we want something pretty fast. So we're going to say seven min walk. Um, and oh, yeah, also we're saying 7,000 BB. So let's update this. Uh, we're at 5,600 left. So let's just say uh, 5,600. Not that, not that we're going to break it on this guy, but uh, yeah, so let's update here. So next we're looking for um, something to flank with. So seven movement um these raptors are pretty cool don't don't have any raptor minis though so we're not gonna not gonna run one of those guys unfortunately um venoms venoms are basically just a, 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 a upgraded spider 35 ton spider let's check out him real quick he's got uh four medium pulse lasers his uh H Hooper BV is pretty high based on what's kind of surra surrounded by here. Um, it's got eight jump, which none of the ra like the Raptors above it don't have that, those, that jump, for example, um, and still pretty comparable uh, damage from BV here. So uh, I guess the only downside is it runs pretty hot, but uh, I don't know. Are we going to be jumping? This this is including like jump heat as well. So are we going to be jumping eight and firing? All four pulse lasers every turn probably not we'll probably be jumping in and out and cooling down every other turn kind of thing uh so yeah let's add him let's add him to the squad so we got our venom we got our riflemen they uh let's see here we've still got some options for some houses we didn't really narrow down our house yet uh we got draconis combine federated commonwealth federated sons uh, we got some options in there, so maybe free world leagues as well. Um, okay, so let's keep going. So we got, uh, and we're down to what four, eight, seven, sixty-seven, four and sixty-seven for BV. Um, I'd like to kind of like build in a squad builder right now, but uh, we'll, we'll do that next. I'm working on it. This is this is very early on. Uh, so let's look for something just like really tanky. Uh, like what did we say that Annihilator had 220 HP per BV? Um, and let's just remove the min walk thing. Um, and let's just order by HP per BV, I guess. And we'll see what, what we get. What we get. Oh, sorry, for 1K BV. I need, to, I need to change this order by like a drop down so people don't break it accidentally. Uh, so we got a different mech. That's not really what we're looking for. Uh, though, uh, that is kind of irritating that they're the highest, highest HP per, per BV available with, with these other filters, I guess, as well. Um, oh, one sec. Let me pause this. Um, okay, I think we're recording again, yeah. So, um, yeah, then we got the charger. Okay, but we do want to do build it. Some of these guys, like the charger, isn't, isn't doing any damage. For example, uh, let's uh, let's give it a min damage as well for BV. Let's give it a min four. Okay, here we go. So we got we got another urban mech in here. Um, we got the annihilator again. Let's sort by, we get like a top 25 HP per BB. So let's sort now by damage per BB and see what we, what we have here. Uh, so we got the Stalker 5S, this seems pretty sweet. Uh, 
it's only three five but uh, lots of lasers lots of SRMs lots of LRMs really big it's got an anti-missile system um, yeah it's doing big damage um, and it's available for uh, Fedcom and Fed Sons and Lear and Alliance and so yeah that looks that looks nice what's what's uh, the BV total BV on it must be expensive oh no, only fourteen twenty five seems pretty cool all right let's let's throw him in he seems cool all right so let's see okay we're only halfway through our BV. Um, have we kind of narrowed down? I think Fed Sons or Fed Commonwealth are like who we're getting. Ooh, actually, I feel that's how big they're. This heat differential is on these, this guy. It's pretty big. Minus 28. I guess that said, you're probably not launching like all your LRMs and all your uh, like medium lasers on the same turn kind of thing. Um, Let's compare actually real quick. Let's see this annihilator who I like I, I do like having guys who feel like they can use all their guns. Like, especially if like we're taking this expected damage, which is all the guns into account. Um, let's see here. So the annihilator is way slower. It's a little tankier. And its damage profile is very similar. But the nice thing is it doesn't have the heat issues. Though, I guess, ah, never mind. It's like not really available to any inner sphere houses. What, uh, what else is down here? Jagermack DD. What's he got? He's got uh, some UAC fives, nice, and some medium pulse lasers. So uh, yeah, let's try him out. We'll throw him in. He's four six. He's he might not, he's not really exactly what we're looking for, but he seems like he's really tanky and uh, got some nice damage and decent movement. So let's throw him in. Uh, we're down to 2479 now. Um, I do want to get just like someone like crazy bulky and stuff. So, so let's not sort by minimum per BV anymore. Let's just sort by minimum expected damage. Um, so let's say we want someone with 350 uh, HP and What's the decent expected damage value? Uh, I don't know, like six. Is that reasonable? All right, and we got a few options here. Um, we're still sorting by HP per. Let's just sort straight by expected damage again. Okay. So, yeah, actually, it's really hard to spend that much BV on a single unit. Um, Inner spheres. So let's uh, we're back to that annihilator as an option, which we could take and still have like 900 left or something, or over a thousand left. And I get one more back. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do that, and then we'll, we'll get one more back. So we have we have a really slow. Oh no, right, we can't because he's not in the faction list. Um. What about this battle master? 14, 4, 6, 350, expected damage 7. That seems pretty solid. Medium pulse, LRM. Six medium pulse lasers, wow. Okay, let's grab that. That seems fun. Alright, and then we have a thousand left, so 10, 38. Update, not yeah, no one there. Um, so let's do min per BV. We'll do uh, what do we have? We got uh, 
we've got a flanker and then like three pretty solid guys um, let's grab is this is this adding all of them okay yeah. let's grab let's grab one more kind of fast guy um, so let's say minwalks let's do minwalk six this time and we'll say min dash or vv uh, Three, Ooh, five. Okay, we don't have a flash fire, but let's bump that up to four. Still got a couple options here. Okay, so we've got. Um, let's see. Got the Arctic Fox, which isn't available to us. We've got this Raptor, which we kind of looked at earlier. We don't have the Mini 4, but uh, we could probably proxy this Raptor with a, a Locust, right? That looks like a Locust or a Flea. We need that, that Flea Mini. Um, let's put this guy real quick. It's got uh, 161 HP per BV, 4 damage per BV, and he's got 3 SRM6s in a small laser. That's pretty fun. And he's available to Draconis and Federates, Commonwealth and Sons. Okay, let's throw him in. That'll be kind of our final, final guy, and then we'll... Uh, might be able to have some wiggle room with some uh, some pallet skill aside from that. No, it's not including him. Alright, there we go. So yeah, we have 425 left. We could probably upgrade one or two of these guys with some, some skills. And uh, otherwise, there we go. That's kind of a quick way to uh, build out a list that you can go use. And you have a pretty good idea what you're using at a glance here. Got some fun mixtures of stuff, some LRMs, some UACs, some, large, some pulse lasers, some LBXs. We've got an anti-missile system. Not a ton of equipment. I don't really have a way, I guess, of valuing equipment currently, which is probably something uh, I'd like to add at some point. Um, I don't know why this is so big. The uh, the other thing I guess as well is like they, they all have XL engines, so they're all a little more fragile maybe than uh, this HP per BV will. Like their effective HP, for example, might be a little lower than say something without an XL engine. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't know. I just thought that would be that was a fun little exercise, kind of build a list, show the show the filters and stuff, and I don't know. What do you guys think? I'd love to get some feedback on it. I'd uh, love to add some different filter capabilities or other tools. That one thing I do want to do is like go in. You give it a you give it a year in a faction, and it returns five and, and a BV value. And it returns like five different randomized options. Maybe not completely randomized. Like maybe uh, like maybe not going in and giving you like someone with like no weapons kind of thing but uh some way maybe if like grabs like the top 25 of like a min hp per bv and a and a min damage per bv value with some like randomized like uh minimum like walk run jump values and uh throws them in a list and says so saying here's five options which would, would you like and you pick one or Especially if you're like GMings and you don't really want to make a, a list every time, like for a lance, then it might be useful. I don't know. Anyway, I'll keep poking away at it and hopefully make it better and make it look a little better, <laughs> improve the usability and stuff. And yeah, let me know what you think. Cheers, guys. Thanks for checking it out.